Hey everyone, I'm 32-Bit Bandit, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Um... Hey, that pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. Sorry, I thought that was, uh, I thought that might have been something important. Anyway, um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just wandering around here. Right, what are we doing? So before we get back on the unreliable, we'll have a look if we've got anything else to do here. Uh, weapons from the void. Acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. The logs on Hawthorne's terminal mentioned rumours from the Groundbreaker of a scientist who bragged about a powerful weapon he was researching. Perhaps more details can be found on the station. Another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop for old records. Apparently the smuggler acquired several leads that way. Right, okay. Sorry everyone, <laughs> back to Gladys's shop. Right, it won't be long. And then I think that's it. There's the drinking sapphire wine. That's back on the ship. The main story's back on the ship. Hang on. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Um. Back to Straight your... to the point, eh? Yeah. All right, then. On you go. I mean, there's nothing here. You mentioned groundbreakers outside of the board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's yeah. us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Um, what do you do here? A little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. So that's what that smell is. Sometimes the hairs poke out between the seams, but I don't mind. That's what the law gave us matches for. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Why did the board recall Stella Bay navkeys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Yeah. Just having a little um, look around your shop. Hope you don't mind. Hmm? It's there, isn't it? <laughs> Let, let's be real. It's there, isn't it? Watch where you're looking, buddy. Yeah, sorry. Well, I mean, that's... <laughs> so I'm not getting in there. But that's the whole of Gladys's shop, isn't it? There's no... Oops. Shh. 
Oh. <laughs> I really want that science weapon. Well, there's that perk which increases our science damage by 50%. Which, I mean, the only science weapon we have is that melee weapon. I think Pavati's got. What are all those enemies about? Oh, hang on. Hang on. <gasps> Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To them I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless and bedless. For anyone, far, far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreakers trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Oh. I'll take him on his crew. Where are you, buddy? So I'm not going to steal anything, because if this is, you know, this is some homeless guy, <laughs> homeless guy's stuff. Um. So there's enemies somewhere. I'm, oh, what is, what is this? Where am I? Oh my. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I just came to buy something off Gladys. Oh, I'm in the science. The, um. This is the science bit, isn't it? Okay, so I'm assuming I thought <laughs> I thought it was a gun blade. Right, so I don't really want to steal all their medical supplies either. Um Hey. Look at the Oh that's perfect. I didn't even notice. Oh such good disguise kits. Right, out we go. I've seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And um, sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Okay. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? Being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. Oh, so I have no. I mean, I can't stay here, but I feel like we're missing something, aren't we? Where are those red people? Where's this homeless guy? And where's <laughs> where's my science stuff? <laughs> right, we've. This is we interrupt we've got um another place we can look. Obviously, we have. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, it's just um. Oh. Hi, right, who are you? You couldn't pay me to visit Monarch. I'd probably get my family. Uh Anything? <laughs> pay to view movies. Nope. Okay, so we can look at the terminal back at base. We'll check there first. Because we're, you know, we're just messing around here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. Requires rest and go key card. Fair play. But I'm assuming it's not at the rest and go. Oops. No. Nope. 
No, okay. We're none the wiser. Oh, hang on, we got one more. Ha! Huh. Hey, fella. <laughs> okay, it's definitely not right. Let's go. Van. <laughs> it's in that safe, isn't it? <clears throat> and I was thinking, I was just... I'm trying to convince myself it's not there. So we'll have a look there first. Um, see if that gives us some information. Sure, best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks anymore, except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. It might just be that we need to look at the terminal to get some information so then we can ask ask her about it afterwards. But I really want to know who those enemies were and whether or not we can get that homeless guy on our team. Unless it's unless Felix is that homeless guy. Maybe that maybe it's just Felix and I'm just Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. Hi, Ada. Okay, Phineas's lab, an abandoned asteroid facility located, uh, located in the rings of Terra 2, repurposed into the experimental labor <laughs> laboratory uh, living quarters and hideout of, Phineas's Vernon, of Phineas Vernon Wells. Oh, we could go say hi to Finian. Yeah, all right. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Okay. I know we were going to take Sam out. I think I'll initiate an un. Um. Uh, but you know, as we're at a, we di we, there's not going to be much fight in here, is there? So the we'll take Pavati and Ellie. Cycle while you're out. When I do another run of this um, on Supernova, I'm definitely taking Sam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Acid Steeper. Well, so <laughs> sooner than I did in this one, and have Sam absolutely just going absolutely everywhere with me. He's hench and he has a flamethrower. What more could you want? <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it, blast, that's loud. Hey, Phineas. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mine the mess. Sir. I haven't had a visitor <laughs> since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh man, holy crumbs. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. For what it's worth, I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board. And emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. I wanted to talk to you about something. Of course. What's on your mind? Um, there's some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass? Never know what being frozen did to your brain. There's always a chance you might turn violent. 
I've no desire to end up like Thompson. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. I've got a nav key to Stella Bay. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Uh, you sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Uh, where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. We'll be in touch. We'll be in touch right now. I hope you're not thinking of ingratiating yourself with the board. Chairman Rockwell and his cronies are not your friends. They might tempt you with promises of wealth, but don't be fooled. They're just using you for their own ends. What's on your mind? Uh... A science weapon? Absolutely. Let's talk. Don't you ever leave your lab? Ask him about oh, the science weapon. No, I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. That's not what I meant. Do you have some kind of life outside your work? Life outside work? No! Of course not! My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. How's that coming along, by the way? Remarkably well. After all, I managed to revive you without too many adverse side effects. We're even having a real conversation. That's progress. I'm just waiting for news from Hiram Blythe. I'm quite sure he knows the location of those chemicals. Get me those chemicals, and I'll revive the hope. Revive the hope, put a stop to the board. Stop the board, save the colony from destruction. Cause and effect. Simple, really. My progress is tied to your progress. We're in this together, my friend. I could give your research a peer review, if you want. I'm well aware of your scientific acumen, but you're far better suited to working in the field than I am. Leave the blackboard work to me. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. <laughs> Get it? Thanks for the chat. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Okay, so that's where we're going to... Oh, sorry, Pavati. Uh, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to find this... <laughs> this ridiculous science weapon, which is the most elusive quest I've ever seen. Um, we, but we're going to... Well, I can't promise we're going to do it. You'll see in the title of the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very shortly then.